Hey guys, what's up? It's Winnie here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm a little bit annoyed because I've already filmed this video once before. I did a whole first impression and swatched all 12 of these lip products for you guys. And I went to edit the video and something was wrong with my audio. It just sounded like I was auto-tuned or there was like a beat throughout the entire video. So here we are again. I'm going to be swatching the new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks for you guys. These are 12 new shades and these are L'Oreal's first ever matte liquid lipstick. They might look familiar because they do have a very similar looking packaging to the Infallible Pro Matte Glosses, which I have also swatched and reviewed before. I will link that video up above. And what's different with those is that they have more of a moussey matte gloss kind of texture to them, and they don't dry down to a matte finish on your lips. They stay kind of like a soft, velvety, creamy matte finish, whereas these do dry down completely matte. They are super full coverage, and they do not transfer whatsoever. I actually wore them and tested it out the first time I did this video. And I just went about my night. I went out to dinner and then I went out afterwards But it lasted through eating ramen, which is you guys know like eating anything with an oil in it It will break down the lip product, but this lip did not move whatsoever I did a little snap video for you guys to show you how amazing this stay put so I've had this on for a total of four hours I haven't touched up or reapplied or anything like that and I've eaten food and everything and this has not smeared or faded whatsoever. There's nothing transferring on my finger. Even rubbing it with my hands, it did not budge. So I was just like blown away with how long lasting this was. It says it is a 16 hour wear lip product and I didn't wear it for 16 hours. I wore it for probably like six hours, but even still, I did not see any fading, smudging or anything like that. It just looked perfect until I was ready to take it off. I actually had to take like a makeup removing balm to like rub it on my lips to break down the product and then it wiped away really easily. But otherwise, I'm telling you guys, this is going to stay put throughout the entire night. I mean, I have some long wearing liquid lipsticks that I love and always reach for, but nothing has lasted this long on my lips, especially not a drugstore liquid lipstick formula. So I am amazed and I am so impressed by these. I'm going to go ahead and swatch all 12 colors for you guys. And I'm going to swatch these on my lip and hand so that you guys can see the true color of each shade. And I'm going to go by each shade number that they have for the colors. The first shade we we have is Shakedown and I love the shade. It's one of those shades that I gravitate towards. It's a very warm, rich terracotta brownie rose color. And I wanted to mention the applicator on these because I actually think it's a very smart design. It's a larger flattened doe foot applicator with a point to it. So you can really get precise when you apply the color to your lips. And there's also a little divot in the wand so that it picks up a lot more product for you. So one swipe of the color on my lips will cover my entire lips and I don't have to go back to the product to get more. So when I first applied this to my lips, I thought it was really interesting because it had a thicker, like shinier consistency. So it almost looked and felt like a lip lacquer on my lips. But if you give it a moment for the lip product to set and dry down, it does have that really beautiful, like velvety smooth finish on it. And once this does dry down to that matte finish, it does feel really comfortable on the lips. It doesn't feel too dry or like really tight. You know how some like matte finishes have that really weird like crusty feeling on your lips. This does not feel that way whatsoever. Next is Nudist. This is one of the lightest nude shades in the collection. It's a very warm, wearable, like peachy nude. So I think it works well with my skin tone. It's definitely a shade that I could wear on like a daily basis. I feel like it's super wearable. Next is Deeply Disturbed. This is a very vibrant, like fuchsia purple orchid color. With this shade, because of the like bright pink and purple colors in it, I feel like this one did not apply as consistently on the lips as some of the others. I can see on my lips some areas look a little bit more pink and some look a little bit more of that deep purple. So I feel like you want to do one layer, let it dry, and go over it again if you need to fix that patchiness. But I think the key is to let the first layer dry down before you go back in with a second layer because if it's still kind of wet on your lips, it might still move around a little bit. So let it set first and then build up on that. But I would not suggest adding a ton of layers of this because it is a little bit of a thicker formula. You can see how this might start to feel a little bit sticky or feel like really thick on your lips. Next we've got Cowboy. This is my top favorite shade because I can see myself wearing this color a lot. It's actually very similar to Shakedown, which is the first shade that I showed you guys, but I'd say it's probably like one shade lighter. It's slightly more orange compared to Shakedown, which I think is a little bit 
little bit more wearable. I think it really complements a lot of skin tones. This is also the shade that I was wearing in my Snapchat videos when I was talking about the color, and it lasted throughout the entire night. The color did not fade whatsoever. But one thing I will say I noticed is when you first apply the color to your lips, I feel like it's a little bit lighter than what it ends up being once it sets to that matte finish. Next we have Angora. This is a very cool tone grayish shade. It's slightly on the more like gray side with a touch of like blush pink in it. The shade is just a little bit too light against my skin tone. I don't think it's the most flattering on me, but I will say even though it is a lighter lip color, this still has super full coverage and it's very pigmented. And that again is just with one application all over the lips without having to go back in to get more product. So I think that is just amazing. And I actually think with the right makeup, this might actually be a cute look because I love the color itself. And then we have Plum Bun which looks like a really pretty mauve or mauve rose shade. I love how easy it is to apply these onto the lips and again I love the applicator because it really helps you apply it really precisely and it's almost like having like a lip liner tool because of that point. So when I'm applying you can see me going really close to the edges of my lips because I want to get that perfect smooth line and the application just looks a lot more flawless. And then we have Milk and Cookies. This again looks really similar to Angora. It's got that same like grayish vibe to it. I think Milk and Cookies has a little bit bit more of that like cool tone beigey brown to it so on the lips it looks more like a cool tone nudie brown all right now we're getting into some of the red shades this one is stirred this looks like a very warm orangey red I seriously love a good red and this is such a rich red on the lips. It's more on the darker like brick red side but I think that's what makes me like it even more. A lot of reds can tend to wash me out but a red with a little bit of orange in it just works really well with my skin tone so I love this red shade. This is also like the perfect fall red. Let me just take a moment and appreciate how nicely this applied. Again it's mostly because of the pointed applicator but this is without a a lip liner which is insane because usually I have like super shaky hands and I feel like I always overline or do something crazy and you know with darker colors like this it's a little bit more intimidating to apply but this went on like perfectly I don't even want to remove it because it looks so nice and now I look like Pennywise the next red we have is Matador. This is a very vibrant, bright candy apple red. This is such a classic true red on the lips, even though it is very vibrant. And I slightly feel like Snow White because it is so red and it kind of does wash me out just a little tiny bit. Next we have Roseblood. This is a very deep burgundy red. And with the shade similar to Deeply Disturbed, that very bright fuchsia orchid color, I felt like I needed to go over it a little bit, just touching up with a second layer because it wasn't super super consistent and that could be because this color is so so deep it's a very vampy burgundy wine red that's perfect for like a bold vampy fall lip we're nearing the end now next shade we have is petal potion this is a cool tone light mauve pink Normally I don't really like pinks with a lot of blues in it because I think it's just too cool against my skin tone. But I feel like I do actually like this shade on. But this next one though, this is just too light for me. This is in the shade Kitten Paw. This is literally a pastel lavender shade, which I will say it's very, very unique. I have not seen anything like this. Just probably not like my everyday go-to shade. It is fun. I could see it being cool for some fun looks. And you can always cocktail your own colors, like maybe mix this with some other shades that you like and create your own shade. But I don't think that this would be a shade that I would be wearing a ton of alone. I look and feel like I'm kind of from the future or something with my outfit and this lip color on. So there you have it guys, that is the whole collection for the Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I hope you enjoyed this swatch video, but seriously I'm just amazed at how long lasting and smudge proof these are. I have on Milk and Cookies again, that's one of my favorite shades, and my other favorites would have to be Nudist, which is that really nice warm peachy nude. 
Cowboy and Stirred. Those are my four favorites out of the collection, even though I think every single shade was so pigmented and so beautiful on. There are two shades that are only available at Ulta, which is Petal Potion and Kitten Paw. These are the last two shades that I swatched. All of the other colors are available anywhere you can find L'Oreal products. They range from around, I think, eight to nine dollars each, which I think is amazing, especially because of how long wearing these are. Honestly, I think these have got to be the best drugstore liquid lipsticks out there right now because you cannot beat the price and these are all super pigmented and again super super long wearing so I'm incredibly impressed by the whole collection and I love how comfortable it feels on the lips but I will say you want to give it a moment to dry and really set to that matte finish because when you fuss with it when it's still wet on your lips it might get a little bit patchy especially if you want to put your lips together but I feel like it's easiest and it looks a lot better when you apply it all the way around with the applicator one swipe around and if you do need to touch up wait for the first layer to dry and then go back in otherwise like I said it gets a little bit patchy but I feel like overall the coverage is amazing because it's so pigmented and this stuff I swear to you it's like bulletproof it's so hard to remove unless you want to remove it with an actual makeup remover at the end of the day you guys are gonna have to check these out but let me know in the comments down below what are some of your favorite long wearing drugstore or high-end liquid lipsticks and also let me know if there are any other swatch videos you want to see from me in the future and don't forget to check me out on my Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, which are all linked down below, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!